Hi, Crandall. Hi. Welcome back to Marcy and Crandall. Didn't know I left. He did. If you guys didn't notice, Crandall really hasn't been on here for the last few episodes. But welcome back, everybody. Today, we're making progress on our house. Um, we're going to go pick out lights for our pendant lights right here. We're also in this big debate. And maybe you guys can help us consider not our consequences but consider what would happen if we did this at first when we started building this well rebuilding this house it was a year and a half ago and we were all set on doing it all farm style and slowly i think our styles have changed um and we wanted to do originally black hardware yeah but now <sighs> we kind of like gold So all of our hardware, everything else is black, but in our bathroom, we mixed the two. So we did a gold shower head and gold knobs on the vanity, but the light fixtures and what else is black in there? Oh, the faucet is black. So we're thinking of mixing and doing the same in the kitchen, doing the faucet black still, but the hardware gold. I, yeah, I seriously can't decide. I've been looking at pictures and I really do like the look of the gold, so kind of in a predicament. Not like your shiny gold like it was back in the year 2000 or the 90s. This is like a brushed it's the 2023 gold. Version of okay, it's yeah. the 2021 version of gold. But let me show you guys because we actually have a few or one sample. Okay, this is like the cheapest one we could buy when we flipped furniture two years ago. These are the ones that I would put on and I wasn't gonna go spend a lot of money on handles that wasn't for my house. But this was an extra one, so we're just gonna show you the difference. I would do just a little bit different shaping. I like how it's not completely squared. Like I like how there's, you know, the, it's straight and then a dip. Whereas these black ones are squared. So let's see, here's black. Here is gold. What do you guys think? It's so hard to tell without the rest of the heart. I think I we can do that very last. Once we have the backsplash and everything, and we can actually see what it looks like with everything painted and everything. I would agree, except for when you pick lights and things, you have to take into consideration. It's the two lights over the island. Yeah. And I think natural wood still works, because that's not gold or black. Yeah. So. Um, Problem solved. We'll see you on the next episode. Oh my gosh. Okay, no. We're going to go to the lighting store. We're going to go check out a few different things, see what we like, but I'm bringing my gold hardware just in case. Somehow on my adventure to go look at lights, we ended up at a farm store. Crandall wants to, and a quote, check out. What the heck is in my pocket? Oh, my handle. That's right. So we're here checking out a farm store because that's gonna progress us in our project of finishing our house. One sprayer expertly purchased. <laughs> so Crandall got a weed sprayer. I think it's about time. We have a little one, but not a big one. So we got that. And then we tried out a few new colognes for Crandall. So we'll see what we end up with. It's pretty bad to say, but I've never had a cologne, so. Well, he has one. I think it's Adidas and he didn't even wear it while we were dating basically, so. Yeah, I stole it from my brother. And it doesn't, I opened the bottle the other day. It does not smell like anything. Uh, I'm just, sure it's like six years old. It just like, smells like, what is it, alcohol or whatever perfume is made out of. Yeah. The, the base. So here we are at Lowe's. First of all, I like this side of this. We're trying to pick the side of our island. Crandall, do you like this? Yeah. So this, it would be white. Yeah. But do you like how simple it is? Just square. Yeah, well, they added a little trim piece, but I don't think we would. I mean, we could. Look how it looks with the... These are our cabinets. What do you think? Yeah. So there's that. Here's the kitchen with black hardware. I also like the hood. Could we do this hood? Yeah, we could do something like that. Ooh, I like that idea. I feel like it helps dress it up. What do we think about these lights? I don't really like them. Yeah, no. But I really like this faucet. Crandall does not. Look at the different color though, Crandall. Like, yeah, to me, this looks fake. 
I like this one a lot more. This one looks yellow. So we're over here and we're gonna look at some gold knobs. Look how cute this one is. And it feels like really good. It is kind of pricey, but the gold is almost the same. So that would work. I like it. I think it's cute. Um, here's this gold handle. And let me show you, it's different from this one. Well, let's see. Look at that. We'll take a look at this. Oh, look at the sides on this. This is like divoted, which is cute. This is just like a standard pull. This one's on sale. I don't like this one. Those are just the squared. I don't like this shape. So it's between this shape here, this shape here, I think that's about it. Or look at these. These I don't even see. Hold on. Let's take a look at these. Because I might love these. Oh my gosh. Look how cute they are. Okay, hold on. So, for reference, this is our handle that we have. This is a handle really the only one that I liked. It's pretty much the same, just a little bit more yellow and not as big. It's just so more shiny. Because it's not as big, I don't want to go with it because I don't want to go a smaller handle. They have some cute knobs. And then I saw this. I'm just going to pull it out. So you can see. Look how cute that is. So she said it wasn't big enough and then she went with the skinnier one. But it's, no, I meant length-wise. Okay. Look how cute that is. Fill it. You don't like it. No, I don't like it. <gasps> Why? It kind of has this little shimmer to it. The color just looks... Amazing. Different. No, to me, this looks too, like, shiny. Hey, it is up to you. But, so listen, I don't know where this came from. There was just a box sitting basically on the ground in the aisle. There's no place for it. So, I think we find out how much these are. Because we can always bring them back, but I don't know where they got them. Okay. Sounds good to me. So, so Crandall rang those up. And they came out to be eight, or yeah, eight dollars a piece. Nine dollars. And I was like, Crandall doesn't like them. I don't love them for nine dollars a piece. So. Okay, I am here at Ashley Furniture. The lady's helping us look at our pendants. So they actually don't have any pendants lights. They don't have any pendant lights here, but she's gonna help us look and see what her price is if we order them online. Oh, that like scared me for a second. Look, kind of cool. But we have now started branching off and looking at other things. Um, if you didn't know, because we've been in the midst of this remodel, we are planning on eventually getting, um, a new kitchen table with chairs, bar stools, side tables, and a few rugs. So everything that we're looking at, like this is the perfect place to be because we're getting to see things that we like. So Crandall, he, in our first task we had together, he actually built some of our furniture. And so there's some ideas that I've had for him, but I haven't been able to like see it in person. And they actually have some things here that we love. They're just in the wrong color and Crandall hasn't built them. So I'm gonna show you some of those so that you can see kind of what projects are coming up because we don't get to look at the pendants. But I'm gonna give you a sneak peek on their big screen. Lighting, pendants. This is the pendant I think we're gonna do. Look how cute that is. You guys, look. <gasps> look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think, okay, and so here we have our pendant and the gold handle. See, I don't know if it goes, but it definitely goes with the black. But that's gold. <gasps> so it could work. Or the black. See? It's black up here and gold. Oh my gosh, it matches both. I'm freaking excited. This is gonna look so cute. It's not that price. Online, it's cheaper. We'll talk to you guys later about it. But I also really like this round table. 
look how cute that is but here is the table that i'm talking about this is a coffee table and we need a coffee table in our house and i really like this one and i think it's perfect look but have crown will make it so it'll be a little bit lighter it won't be so dark but i really like it and we can definitely beat that price tag I really want our coffee table and our side tables to match. So here are some ideas. Like this one is cute and this looks just like it, but like that. Or I love this one. I think this one is so cute. Obviously colors are gonna be different, but I love the look of that. What do you guys think? Tell me your suggestions. Okay, I got the uh, fried pickle hamburger. Crandall got the Peanut butter sriracha. Peanut butter sriracha. It's if y'all haven't had peanut butter on your hamburgers, it's a game changer. It's so delicious. Our dinner was good. I liked my hamburger. I liked it. I. It wasn't I my favorite. Never get it again. I, but I, I guess I'm kind of picky when it comes to it for that. Yeah, he he is really picky when it comes to hamburgers, but I liked it. We got the onion rings. We did not like the French fries. The French fries tasted like they came out of the bag. Um, it was like as good as any fast food. Or yeah, parts. like Brown's french fries are sometimes better. Not always, but sometimes. Um, and so we got onion rings. My onion rings came out cold. And it was the first time in my life I've ever sent food back. And I just said, hey, like, these onion rings are really They're cold. Legit cold. And like, they did, like, the onion was cold. Like, I don't know how. They must have sat out forever. Because there's no way they would have cold off that quick yeah I don't know but she's like oh I'll just make some more so she brings out the new plate of onion rings and she like drops it as she's putting it on the table so then they had to Half make us spilled on the floor yeah like we got three onions onion ring parts um so they made me this <laughs> tega box and it says o-rings don't drop yeah I wasn't the one who dropped it I wonder if she blamed it on me no the chef she said that the chef was playing jokes on her. On her, yeah. So, we um, got some onion rings to take home. We are just going to head to one more place and then we're going to go home. Yep. We're going to TJ Maxx, right? Oh, I'm excited. Wait, I thought you were going to go with me to TJ Maxx. Okay. <laughs> I have a gift card and I can't use it without Crandall. So. Crandall has to come. So we finished with TJ Maxx. I'm going to show you what I got. But one of Crandall's favorite things to do is to go drive in the middle of nowhere. So here we are in the middle of nowhere with the prettiest sunset and the prettiest view. Crandall, it's really pretty over here. It's a good view, Mars. Yeah. I feel stressed, you guys. So... Colonel and I decided, we made the, the executive decision that we had budgeted, what, $150? I thought $300. No, $150 per light. Yeah. Which was $300 total. Well, when you take into account shipping and taxes and the fact that it was already $20 over the price we wanted, right? 20 Uh. Yeah, $20 over. We, um... It came out over a hundred dollars more than we were supposed to for the lights and i just can't do it can you do it no it's just not i don't know i don't love them that i don't much. love them that much like okay i love a different light and so if i'm gonna go over my budget i'm gonna go over my budget to get exactly what i want bad idea <laughs> <laughs> so we're not gonna go over our budget <laughs> so no that's a good way to look at it like if i'm gonna go over my budget then i'm gonna get what i want versus going right. staying in our budget and so, we can honestly you know there's something you can change out a year from now or something like that just saying if if we absolutely hate what we decide so now i'm looking on home depot amazon home depot really seems to have the most options though yeah um but the one that we like there's one on home depot that's very similar to the one that we liked but they only have two options but the brand is on amazon oh so if i find a light that i kind of like then i look it up on amazon to see if it's also sold there so we're gonna let you know what we find out we ordered them let me show them to you 
feel free to judge, but keep your opinions to yourself. <laughs> Here we go. Can you see that, Colonel? Yeah. Look how cute they are. So, turns out we actually are getting them in like, what, three days? Two days. Two days. So, we're going to be able to put them up there, see if we like them, make sure we get the spacing perfect for when Crandall does everything that he's doing because he has to move a few lights around so they look perfect. Um, and he's really good at that. So, I am so freaking excited. It was kind of a stressful, don't you think, Crandall? Yeah, it took longer than it should have. I just I'm not like mad at you or anything. I'm just saying it just took forever. It felt like it took forever too. I felt like a waste of time and kind of, well, I am excited, but like kind of bummed that it didn't originally work out like we thought it was going to, but we did save a ton of money. Can I tell them how much we ended up spending on this? Yeah. We bought the lights because if you didn't know, Home Depot was having a huge sell today, like huge sell today. We ended up getting them for $60 a piece instead of the ones that we were gonna get for $160. Actually, they were $169.99. So, we saved over $200. I'm so proud of us, Colonel. I'm so proud we of us. Oh, I didn't show you guys the wreath. Look how cute it looks. Colonel, you did an excellent job picking that out. Thanks. I am so excited. We have so many house projects coming up. I'm gonna be busy, 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 busy. Yes, and just so you know, we do have all the cabinets. They did make it to our house. We, will we have, have the countertops. We have the counter. <gasps> Wait, we I have, haven't told them that. We have the countertops. We have, we don't have the floating shelves yet. We don't have the fridge area yet. We don't have the rest of the island. But we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're accumulating everything. We're, yeah, we're close. And we start on Saturday. This Saturday? This Saturday Holy is when you're supposed freak. to start the kitchen reno. <laughs> I'm like so nervous, you guys. Like it it's seems just so like, daunting. It's so daunting. It's like one of the so biggest daunting. daunting things that we've done. Yeah. Well, I don't know why we've remo removed two structural walls. We've removed two load bearing walls. Yeah. So we've removed the two load bearing walls. That's like walls. one little thing. This is like painting, new cabinets, new hardware, backsplash, floating shelves, island countertops, sink, faucet, um, uh, trim, trim, kit, lighting. like lighting, fridge built in, hood, hood. like mm -hmm. the amount of, it, it is just an insane amount of projects. And I really, not that I like have a timeline, but I kind of feel like I have a timeline and it's like, let me show you. It he has a timeline. <laughs> like yeah. he has a timeline. So it's, Pretty, uh, I don't even know what to say. It's daunting, yeah. very daunting. Well, and not to mention, not like we have a timeline, but we also have a family who lives in that. Like we live yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, it's not like I can just kind of come and go and do it and get it done. Yeah. You're going to do so good. I'm going to supervise so well. Oh gosh, you mean micromanage? <laughs> not even. I'm just going to question every little thing that you do. Sounds like micromanaging. And then I'm gonna change things at the last minute. Like, we let me show you this and then we'll be done. This is our mock up of what above the oven looks like. Colonel drew it all out. It looks so good. After two days, I came and I changed the shape of the hood. So, <laughs> hopefully, we won't have too many changes along the way. I mean, we've already tried to change now the handles. We changed the light fixtures. Who knows what else will change? But stay tuned. We can't wait for you guys to see how this project ends. Bye everybody.